Hey guys, it's me, Leo, currently. Okay, let's get started with this big hair. Hey! <laughs> okay. Before going on live, um, Emma... Before going on the sh having the show go on live, Emma has told the audience that less than 1% between the bottom three uh, housemates for up for eviction. There's going... We saw a live high-stakes game after... After one of the housemates gets evicted in the Big Brother Theater. And then the next, the morning after uh, Jeremy was in the diary room and Stephanie overheard everything, Jeremy felt slagged off by Stephanie. That's why he said that. Police officers come into the house. The previous day's shopping task continues on. The public voted on which two housemates should spend the day in jail. John and Gemma were chosen, but were voted to be in jail. Gemma does not want to go and the, do the task because she's claustrophobic. She's been in that jail, like, for three hours before, so what's, like, another six hours? I don't think she wants to be stuck in that state of uh, confined space with John. Gemma walked into the bedroom. Gemma isn't going to do it. If housemates wanted to bail either John or Gemma out of the jail, then Big Brother will turn off hot water appliances and all beauty products had to be surrendered. And then Gemma said that she wanted to walk again. She's told, yeah, Stephanie told Gemma, just do it and then and uh, just go in the jail and stuff. And Gemma told Stephanie, well, no, because I want to see you suffer without hot water and without your beauty products and shit. And Gemma starts blaming Stephanie for shit stirring. And Jenna, Gemma comes for Stephanie for sliding her off behind her back. Originally, the housemates wanted to bail out John more than Gemma. Gemma will not go in there because of her claustrophobia, so they just had to concede to. They had to concede to Gemma just going. No, just to bail out Gemma. Megan and Scotty T snuggle in bed, and Scotty T touches Megan's ass. Jeremy and Stephanie clear the air, but Stephanie rather talk to Jeff Jeremy in like the toilet area, the bathroom area. And so when they go to the bathroom, Stephanie was like, "I put I have put you on a pedestal," and Jeremy feels torn because of the drama. Tiffany butts in, and she's like, I'll, "I'll only say this once, and I won't." I'll, like, leave you to your own after this, is to not get other housemates into their relationship and shut it off and, and be careful in the house. The next part, the next part of the shopping task, 44 dogs have escaped into the garden. Scotty T and Jeremy must, not Jeremy, Darren, they must round up the ducks. They herded them into a ca into the cage in the center of, well, it's actually like a white picket fence area, not a cage really. But they ran them up into that r white picket fence area really fast. John told Jeremy that he heard that Stephanie wishes her boyfriend was a new housemate. Scotty T can't put up with Gemma not participating. He wants to have sex, saying that the first girl that I had sex with out of the house will be in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Gemma tells Tiffany that she thinks that she's preggers. It was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. And then, if she was pregnant, Gemma said, totes deaf said, totes deaf said she would have a cesarean because she doesn't want to ruin her designer vagina. After six hours, John gets to leave the jail. And then... The next part of the shopping task is Big Brother tells four housemates to be one another. Tiffany and, Tiffany and Megan be each other. Daniela does John, and Scotty T does Stephanie. During the shopping task, there were 
Big Brother only allowed allowed up to four fails. There were three fails happening, Gemma refusing to do the spinning and Gemma refusing to enter the jail, as well as Tiffany refusing to put the snake over her shoulder on her shoulders. So there were three out of four fails, which got them luxury, and I'm like, seriously, you should have just said one fail. One fail, and then <laughs> and then Gemma's on fucking rations. I just want to see Gemma on rations once. Just once can we put Gemma on rations. I do like Gemma in the house. It's just... I do like Gemma, but, like, seriously, I just want to see her, uh... I just want to see her once on rations while she's in that house. Okay, well, Gemma finds out she wasn't pregnant after all, and... Might have been bad menstruation, a food baby, maybe gas, maybe constipation. Gemma feels that Stephanie was sniping at Gemma when she was like saying when she was looking towards that direction towards Jeremy and Stephanie after she said that. Stephanie keeps complaining about Gemma. Sky T and Megan are back in the bed back in bed together making out. And then Gemma was in the diary room saying if she left or if Stephanie left, she would party. She would tell death have a party. So let's get on to the live eviction from last night. Safe from eviction were Gemma, Tiffany, and John. So if all the house so all the housemates after eviction will be up for eviction, but they have to do tasks in the theater to make sure that they go in and pass for, uh, so that they can pass for being safe and for, from eviction, and then last house of standing by Saturday, by Sunday night, will be up for eviction on Tuesday. And then I just, I seriously, when I, when I heard Megan got evicted, I was just like, seriously, she got evicted before Stephanie... Look, I know Stephanie was a fan favorite and Megan wasn't a fan favorite before coming in, but, I mean, now the tables have kind of turned and Megan, no, Megan had a really good reaction coming out, though. She had, like, one of the best reactions so far this series, but, um, and she came in with, t like, just straight up booze, and then, uh, and jeers. Like, if she came out, like, after one of her, like, rants and stuff like that, if she... It would have been, like, totally straight-up negative, but she had a really positive reception coming out of the house. And Megan was robbed. She was robbed. I was expect. I didn't expect her to be in the final, but I, I expected her to be evicted before Stephanie. Big Brother tells now housemates no nominations for Tuesday's eviction. There will be a chance for housemates to save themselves. So they go into the theater... But over the weekend, the housemates must battle to save themselves. The challenge, the first challenge for saving them is there are eight or nine music boxes in the houses. Housemates pick show their fate. But before they show the task, they Megan had her interview with Emma. They let yeah they let Megan show her tantrum, and she was like, "I meant it." <laughs> And then with Gemma versus John, Megan wasn't phased by it. Megan and Sky T were friends before entering the house, but like they didn't have a chance to date because one of them had like one of them had a significant other at the time. Megan wants to see Sky T win, and they will have dinner and see where it will go after after they leave the house. Megan still doesn't agree with what Stephanie has been doing with Jeremy. Okay, so then they go into the task. Housemates enter the theater. White mask means no immunity. Gold mask means they get immunity. And Gemma gets immune from, evic from eviction. The handle's kept getting broken. Big Brother throws a party for Gemma's immunity. But, serious, but a lot of people online, a lot of people online are saying that this, this task was fixed. This task was fixed. 
because Gemma, because where Gemma was standing and shit like that. Because, yeah, because they thought, like, this is where people are standing and shit like that. And it's not really the truth. It was more, that's not the truth. It was fucking, that's not the fucking truth. It what The truth is they got to choose where they stood, so, yeah. And a special little house guest will come in on Tuesday after a housemate to get evicted. And Emma does not want it to be Sam Reeves because that would be a mockery of their relationship. I want it to be Sam Reeves because I want to see Sam Reeves come for Jeremy. As Rylan said on bots, the housemates picked their own podiums because they, they knew they were going to have to do some damage control after... All these people online are saying, this was fixed, this was fixed, this was fixed. <sighs> Neither Riley nor Emma know at this point who that house guest will be. <sighs> and Megan has one best reception of leaving the house so far. Like, yeah. Continue on with bots. Megan meant what she said about John. Megan thinks that what Stephanie and told Jeremy is bullshit. Megan wanted the sexual tension between Stephanie and Jeremy to stop. And my favorite part of the night was when Riley mistakenly called Megan Stephanie before turning her face red. But yeah, Megan wants John out of the house. I don't blame her. So, um, that's it for now. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for for tonight's highlights. So see ya.